um, um, it's, it's exciting. We're excited to be here. Um, it's been a long wait. Um, our journey has, uh, you know, uh, to be able to be in Cape Town. Um, you know, we've gone through a lot, but we're excited to finally be here at Cape Town. Uh, you know, after one and a half years of uh, preparation, after COVID, coming in and be able to go through the qualifiers uh, um, and being able to top two to qualify from the Oceania. And then we're here, you know, we just, we were counting days and now we're here in Cape Town. So yeah, we, 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 we're excited, you know, to be able to be here today. We've had competition lined up, um, you know, leading up to Cape Town after the qualifiers, uh, being able to have the opportunity to go through the Pacific All Sports Series that provided that platform for for our preparation for for the for the World Cup and and not having everybody was uh, you know having four players uh, who are based outside of Fiji, um, but yeah, it was a bit uh, you know. Uh, um, not I would say a bit struggle, but you know we had some little moments. But you know when we got the girls together back here in, in July, which was you know we got be able to uh, you know get the things that we wanted to work on, and you know leading up to today, it, it was quite challenging. Um, you know during the COVID restrictions, you know we we had no access to any sporting facility, um, and the girls we. We, yes, we wanted to use the online platform, but, but and again, you know that <laughs> that itself was was a was a struggle for us. But but when we got the opportunity to come back, uh, the important thing was that we got wanted to get our players, just to get in, you know, get back into the system, get them ready again, um, getting to like uh, getting to play ready mode uh, um, uh, preparation in them. Uh, but it was quite difficult. Uh, but we were able to get them through, uh, you know, 2020. Um, you know, for our first Pacific All Sports Series coming in and, and getting the girls uh, to regroup was it was a bit difficult uh, situation for us, but we managed to get through that and in uh, here we are. Yeah, I mean it was the qualifiers. Uh, you know, it, at the end of the day, it was qualifiers it was about you know being the top two, and uh, you know we, we 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 did lose our first game against Tonga, and then. Um, and then we had the opportunity to play Samoa, and you know that was a nail-biting uh, game against Samoa because both both teams needed to win that game to, you know, to be top two. And you know it was you know we, we take our hats off to our players. Um, you know they knew they wanted to you know to be here in Cape Town, and they went out and they did everything they, they got. You know whatever was left in the engine, they, they laid it out, and you know at the end you know we were able to be top two, uh, beat some more that qualified us, uh, you know, to be part of the top two for the qualifiers. It's amazing, uh, you know, to be here, uh, you know, we've, you're here in Cape Town, you know, being in sub, here in South Africa, you know, the, uh, in terms of the weather, <laughs> then a big change of uh, the shift for the players. So, you know, we just got in yesterday and today, we just got a, you know, got them straight into training. We get get them to acclimatize into the weather. But yeah, this is a great opportunity to be in, in, in South Africa in the first time. It, it's, it's amazing. And we're looking forward to the to this next few uh, few days. In terms of preparation, we've had a, a really, um, you know, intense uh, buildup. Uh, we have ups and downs. Uh, it was as smooth as we expected. Um, you know, knowing that we're in, um, when World Netball released the pool, you know, we had um, a very tough pool. We've got the number one in the world, Australia, and then we've got uh, Zimbabwe and Tonga. And we haven't beaten these teams, the, these three teams. So, you know, coming into into this, um, you know, we've we've made sure that we've uh, we re looked at all our and all our video footages um, coming in and identified uh, our main area that we needed to work on and that's and that has been our main focus is just identifying the two main areas that we in terms of possession uh, maintaining possession and making sure that uh, the movement we're constantly moving on the court we need to maintain possession and, and that has been our focus uh, you know, leading up to this World Cup or oh, having uh, Yvette and Kathy uh, I mean they are just amazing coaches. The wealth of experience, the knowledge around the game, and the intensity in terms of the um, development of skills, in terms of the technical situation. They've come in with a brilliant uh, uh, background, and, and they've blended in really well. You know, we were able to work together. You know, as the three coaches, and and of course, coming into the World Cup, you need all the support you need. You need all the expertise, and you need. And they've come in with that, and uh, the players have really, uh, you know. Uh, they've, they've blended in with the coaches, with us, and then, you know, with Kathy as you know coming off, you know, winning the uh, um, SSN competition, and then Yvette is as well know with, with Netball New Zealand and, and the Central Pulse. So yeah, it's it's amazing, and yeah, they've come in, and then we we're looking forward, you know, like for these next few days, in, and then to fine tune a uh, few things that we need to continue to work on. We've done the homework and the, you know, where we wanted to be. Um, 
I know we wanted to, our main objective is, is to finish off the World Cup at top 10. Um, but for us to get to top 10, you know, we've made sure that we have to win our first game. Uh, um, you know, we have to win one game in order to progress to the next pool and, uh, and all that. So, yeah. It's a lot of pressure in that, and the girls do understand, and um, that is something that we continue to drive through them at training leading up to you know to today, and knowing that um, getting into our first game against Tonga, it's important that we, we have to have at least one win to pro to proceed uh, progress us to the next pool.